very warm cheerful greetings my dear students please open up your honeysuckle book with hearts full of joy and eyes so bright let's begin this poem with delight so children the poem wonderful words by mary o neil talks about how language is important in every human being's life by language she talks about how individuals use their words to convey what is on one's mind the poem is a reflection of how words make the world a better place to live in about the poet mary devonport o'neil was an irish poet and dramatist and a friend and colleague of w b eats george russell and austin clark mary devonport o'neil knew from childhood that she wanted to be a writer she began her career as an advertising copywriter and after becoming a partner in her own agency she moved to new york there she started to write children's book for double day aims and objectives of the poem number 1 to enable the students to recite recite the poem with proper rhythm and intonation to train the emotions of the students to develop love of poem reading and writing to familiarize with the concept that how language is important in every human being's life to show how the poem is a reflection of how words make the world a better place to live in now come the word meanings word parts of speech and meaning first is shrivel its verb meaning is to become smaller because of dry condition number second groomed and fed its verb its meaning is nurtured number third longing its noun it means a strong desire number fourth marvelous its adjective the meaning of this word is very good or wonderful last word is surprise which is noun it means feeling of astonishment so children today we are going to start a wonderful poem and the name of the poem is the wonderful words written by mario nell words are important yes or no definitely yes if i want to convey my thoughts to you so i require words for that for expressions i need words if i have to fight against any injustice i need words if i am having very beautiful thoughts to express those i need words so basically words are very important and in this poem we are going to understand the importance of words so what will happen if there are no words whether we will be able to understand the thoughts of someone else easily but sometimes these words hurt us also we are going to start a beautiful poem called the wonderful words and let's understand what this poem is all about this poem is all about the role and importance of language and language skills to shape the ideas of the mind mind is full of ideas small kids even like fire curious to know about everything even we are having a lot of questions in our mind we are curious to know everything all these questions expressions and thoughts how do we put them forward with the help of wonderful words and when i talk about english it's a beautiful language and the way you can express each and every emotions giggles laugh for each and every emotion there is a word so we are going to talk about beautiful language and words so here we start with our poem let's dive into it imagine a world without language all humans speak at least one language the words we speak bring out our thoughts read the following poem on words never let a thought shrivel and die 
for want of a way to say it. For English is a wonderful game and all of you can play it. All that you do is match the words to the brightest thoughts in your head so that they come out clear and true and handsomely groomed and fed. So for all those children who finds it difficult to express themselves in front of others, I mean to say who are introvert. So here poet expressed to say that never contract any thought because you only don't know how to speak or how to express your emotions. If you have a thought children, then express it. The language is beautiful and everyone can speak in this language. So poet compares English language with a game. So what will you do? That thoughts in your mind, your inquisitiveness, you have to match with the right words. Basically, you have to give words to your thoughts and express yourself. So moving ahead. For many of the loveliest things have never yet been said. It means here in this poem. So what's the most important aspect of you? Whatever is popping up in your mind, your thoughts, feelings, ideas, give correct words to them and just let them flow so that clearly it comes out from your mouth accurately so that they can reach thousands of people out there. Why is this so important? Whatever you speak, how you speak, each and every word depicts your personality, tells us about your upbringing, showcase about your manners. Think before you speak always, because once it comes out, you can't take it back, right? So if you say something, it should be properly, handsomely groomed, means your words should, should not create hurt to someone. So an, uh, enough thoughts should be there. It should not be senseless. Just choose words full of wisdom and it shouldn't be senseless. Always choose words in a right manner which, despect, which depicts respect and properly groomed. There are a number of beautiful ideas, thoughts to express feelings which doesn't come out yet till date. So many thoughts require words. In the next paragraph, words are the food and dress of thought. They give it its body and swing. And everyone's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful thing. So children, what does it say? There are several thoughts in our mind and words give body and food and dress to it. So afterwards, it comes out fully dressed. Here, the poet is being very creative. Words are the food and dress of thought. And it reaches to other person. They give body and movement. Suppose I am having thoughts in my mind and uh, if I have given proper word to the thought, that word dressed up and taken feet. Afterwards, get body and then it moved from one person to another person. Everyone loves to hear something fresh. Longing means crave or a strong desire. It's a dire need today to listen something good, relaxing, so we should express our thoughts in other lines. But only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes. Maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise. So children, in these lines, poet wants to say, what are thoughts? In our mind, in our mind trap, it's same feelings, ideas, thoughts, to which when we give words, those ideas take flight like a free bird. When we give words, we express and those thoughts become free from the cage called our mind and reach to others. Only words have the capacity to free thought otherwise. So otherwise thoughts are hidden in the mind cage. It will not become them free, make them free. Where is the prison? It's behind your eyes. Like while reading this poem, Right now, you are having a thought, question, opinion, and you want to share it. It's 100% true that if you express that wonderful thought, 
which emerges in your mind. So, it's possibility that it can be a surprise for people around you. Maybe you don't know the worth of your thought, but people will appreciate your thoughts. So, here comes the summary. Every mind has thoughts. People are constantly trying to translate their thoughts into words. We should not let any idea go or fade just because we don't find the right words for it. Rather, conscious effort should be made to find words to express it clearly. English is a wonderful language and trying to find suitable words for your thoughts is a wonderful game. New thoughts are always coming. Many beautiful thoughts have not yet found expression. The thoughts are imprisoned in our mind. We can liberate them only with the help of suitable words. Who knows there may be some splendid and original thought of your mind waiting for proper words. Let everyone try to give his thoughts a body of proper words. So it's practice time now. There are two questions. Number first is, imagine that you wake up one day and find that there is no language to communicate your thoughts and feelings to others. What will you do? How will you communicate with other humans? Write a short paragraph on a world without language. And in second question, what message does the poetess Marionelle want to impart through the poem, The Wonderful Words? Thanks a ton students for listening this amazing poem carefully. And if you are having any questions or thoughts about this poem, so don't hesitate to encourage an open discussion. Happy reading and learning.